All you need is a 12 millimeter, which I have right here, and a pair of pliers. And here's the old canister right here. So the bolt for it is underneath here. That right up in there is the 12 millimeter. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up. I always loosen the box before I unplug it. Wow, just eight tons of dirt. All right, so the hard part's done. We got the box loose. Screw right here. Got it real rusty. I've been trying to spray this thing off with water. All right. So now we climb up in here. Which is kind of cool about this truck is you can actually climb up in here to work on it, to work on this part of the truck. That's your solenoid right there, and I've already tried changing that, and it didn't fix anything. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just replace the whole canister. Basic unplug in here. Okay, I got one unplugged. I don't want to do any knuckle busters under here. That's my whole goal here is no knuckles busted today. All right. So there's that hose. There's that hose. Here's the solenoid, completely full of dust. Okay, I see you gotta pull up on the little white clip. Don't push it down, pull it up. That's how I broke the other side, all right. Dang, this thing is full of dust. How horrible. Oh. Tons of dust. So here's the old box. This is probably the biggest flaw with the Nissan Frontier is that this hose right here, what I'm looking at, comes right from the gas cap vent. So it sucks dust straight into this box through this hose right here. There's a vent on the outside of the gas cap, right where the door, gas door is. And uh, I'm gonna drop this in. Snap this thing in first. Yeah, so this is the biggest flaw with the Frontier, for sure. <clears throat> because, uh... It's impossible to keep the dust out. This thing's kind of hard to put on. Gotta turn it. There it is. So I just pushed it in, turned it to the right. Looks like it's locked in. 
so far so good on that um, the next thing I'll do put this old dusty hose back on here Yep. Okay. And this connector, this one wasn't broken last time. I don't know how that one broke. But uh, this one here snaps in. Put this one next. Metal clip down on there. Very nicely done. The main hose on there. This is the main culprit for getting the whole system dirty right there. Piece of junk design. And put this clip back on there. I could see what I was doing. All right. That one's back on there. It doesn't clip on anymore. Because I broke it off. And then the last one. Last one is this one here. This one should just snap right in. That it does. It's not all the way on though, there's a little gap. You gotta make sure it's all the way there it goes. You gotta make sure it's all the way flush. So it looks like everything's back in. Even though some of my connections are broken. So we're ready to, uh, ready to screw it back down. <laughs> Test it out, see if the check engine light goes out. That groove right there goes into this slot. Right there, and then the screw should line up. There it is. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like uh, we're back in business. So underneath, underneath the gas cap um, nozzle here, there's these little vents. See those little plastic vents along the side down here, along the underside right here. Those are little vents that let dust go right in your dust goes right inside those vents the dust goes down this hose and into the top of the solenoid which goes into here and clogs up this whole box completely gets it full of dust 